And the checkered flag is out for Willie T. Ribs. When you do that 10 miles, you see who you are. Willie T. Ribs is inviting race fans to help him commemorate being IndyCar's first black driver. He's planned a huge celebration at the Columbia Club on Monument Circle for his 30th anniversary. Every time, it's like Christmas Day. It looks like we have a blown engine. There was a lot of challenges. Challenges because although Ribs had many supporters, not everyone liked the fact that he broke the color barrier for IndyCar racing. He even knew about some people counting on him failing 30 years ago. There was a few that were, were uh, rooting against me. They lost. They lost money. Ribs' love for racing started at an early age. He credits his exposure to the race car industry to his father, who allowed him to dive deep into the sport experienced by few blacks back then. I was already in racing when I was born. My dad was doing it. Willie T also shared how the Penske and Holman families made him feel like family at the track, especially Mary Holman George. She was like my aunt. I mean, she made sure that there was no problems uh, for me or my family. Today, there are inclusive programs at IMS for people of color, especially young people. These NXG Youth Motorsports program participants learned racing to earn achievement certificates. And Willie T insists diversifying racing needs bigger support. The responsibility is with General Motors and every corporate sponsor in the sport. I felt wonderful. Now, as Willie T. Ribs celebrates history, he also celebrates what else inspired him to break the color barrier in his favorite sport. The response from uh, the fans, the response from the supporters. Steve Jefferson, 13 News.